get into bed in full uniform. He did keep his shirt on with some idea of preserving her modesty and his original intent. He lay quite rigid beside him, trying to envision himself as the tomb figure of a crusader, a marble monument to noble behavior, sworn to a chastity enforced by his stone embodiment. Unfortunately, it was a rather small bed, and William was rather large. Aunt Jane wasn't trying at all to avoid touching him. Granted, she wasn't trying to arouse him either, but her mere presence did that without half trying. He was intensely aware of every inch of his body, and which of them were in contact with hers. He could smell her hair, a faint scent of soap, mingled with the sweetness of tobacco smoke. Her breath was sweet, too, with the smell of burnt rum, and he wanted to taste it in her mouth, share the lingering stickiness of brandy with her. He closed his eyes and swallowed. Only the fact that he needed desperately to pee made it possible to keep his hands off her. <laughs> he was in that state of drunkenness where he could perceive a problem but could not analyze a solution to it. <laughs> and sheer inability to think of two things at once prevented him either speaking to her or laying a hand on hers. What's the matter? She whispered hoarsely. You're wiggling like you've got tadpoles in your drawers. And the light from the lantern over the establishment's door. Never mind, he'll likely think I did it, Arabella Jane said, a dark note in her voice. You're a girl, William pointed out logically. You couldn't piss out a window. <laughs> Not without making a prime spectacle of myself, no. <laughs> it isn't unknown for a whore to throw the contents of her chamber pot out on someone, accidental on purpose. Well, she shrugged, went behind the screen, and emerged through the aforementioned receptacle, which she promptly upended, upended out of the open window. In response to renewed howls from below, she leaned out and shrieked several insults that a regimental sergeant would have been proud to author before knocking back in and hanging the shutters closed. May as well be hanged or buggered for a sheep as a lamb, she remarked, taking him by the arm again. Come back to bed. It's only in Scotland that they bugger sheep, William said. It may be part of Yorkshire. Northumbria, too, maybe. Captain Harkness from one of those places then. No, oh, him? William sat down on the bed rather suddenly, as the room had begun to revolve in a stately manner around him. Yes. No, I, I'd say maybe Devon from his, his speech, he concluded, pleased to have found the word. So they've got sheep in Devon too then, I suppose. <laughs> Arabella Jane was unbuttoning his shirt. He raised a hand to stop her, wondered why he should, and left the hand hanging in midair. Lot of sheep, he said. Oh, she's everywhere in England. God save the Queen, then, she murmured. <laughs> Intent on her work. The last button came free, and a faint draft of air stirred the hairs on William's chest. He remembered then why he should have been stopping her, but she put her head inside the open front of his shirt and licked its nipple before he could make the arrested hand complete its motion. And when he did, it merely settled gently on her head, which was surprisingly warm. So was her breath. So was her hand which had wrapped itself around his trick in a possessive sort of way. No, he said, after what seemed a very long time, it could have been no more than seconds. His hand descended and closed, regretfully, over hers where I grasped him. I, I, I meant it. I won't bother you. She didn't let go, but it emerged from air, sitting up and regarding him with an air of puzzled impatience, just visible in the lantern light that seeped through the shutters. If you bother me, I'll tell you to stop. How's that? she offered. No, he repeated. He was concentrating fiercely now. It seemed exceedingly important that she understand. Honor. It's, it's my honor. She made a small sound that might have been impatience or amusement. Maybe you should have considered your honor before you came to a whorehouse. <laughs> or did someone drag you inside against your will? I came with a friend, he said with dignity. She still hadn't let go, but couldn't move her hand, not with his type plastic around it. That's not what I mean. They, I mean. The words that had come easily a moment ago had slipped away again, leaving him blank. You can tell me later once you've had a good thing, she suggested. And he was startled to discover that she had two hands and knew what to do with the other one, too. <laughs> on hand my... Damn, what was the bloody word? On hand my testicles, if you please, madam. <laughs> Just as you like, she replied crisply, and doing so, put her head back inside his damp, smelly shirt, seized one nipple between her teeth, and sucked so hard that it pulled every last word out of his head. Matters thereafter were unsettled, but largely pleasant. Though at one point, 
he found himself rearing above her, sweat dripping from his face on her breasts, muttering, I'm a bastard, I'm a bastard, I'm a bastard, don't you understand? She didn't reply to this, but stretched up a long white arm, cupped her hand round the back of his head, and pulled him down again. That's why. He came gradually to himself, suddenly aware that he was talking, and evidently had been for some time, in spite of his head being cradled in the curve of her shoulder, his senses a swim in her musk, like a sweating flower, he thought dreamily, and her nipple a dark sweet thing an inch or two from his nose. The only honor I have left is my word. I have to keep it. The tears came suddenly to his eyes with recollection of the moments just passed. Why did you make me break my word? She didn't answer for some time, and he would have thought she'd fallen asleep, save for the hand that roamed over his bare back, gentle as a whisper. Ever think that maybe a whore has a sense of honor too, she said at last. Frankly, he hadn't, and it opened his mouth to say so, but once more his words had gone missing. He closed his eyes and fell asleep on her. <laughs>